Hey, everybody. Hey. I pray everybody's having a blessed day. Some evening, some morning, <laughs> some noon. I pray you all are well. I'm not going to be up here long. I just want to share something with you that God gave me about his power. And it comes out of Hebrews um, chapter 3, starting at verse, excuse me, Seven. When you when you get fit, when you have a moment, you can read the entire third chapter. But I'm just going to read um, starting at the seventh verse, Hebrews chapter three, starting at the seventh verse. Wherefore, as the Holy Ghost said today, if ye will hear His voice, harden not your hearts, as in the pro provocation, in the day of temptation in the wilderness, when your fathers tempted me, proved me, proved me, and saw my works forty years. Wherefore, I was grieved with that generation and said, They do always err in their heart, and they have not known my ways. So I swear in my wrath that they shall not enter into my rest. Take heed, brethren, lest there be in any of you an evil heart of unbelief in departing from the, from the living God. But exhort one another daily while it is called today, lest any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. For we are made partakers of Christ if we hold the beginning of our confidence steadfast unto the end. While while it is said, Today if you if ye will hear his voice, harden not your hearts as in the provocation. For some, when they had heard, did provoke, howbeit not all that came out of Egypt by Moses, but with whom was he grieved forty years? Was it not with them that had sin, whose carcasses fell in the wilderness? And to whom swear he they that they should not enter into his rest or the promised land, but to them that believe not. So we see that they could not enter in because of unbelief. And the scriptures that God God highlighted to me come out of um Hebrews th three Hebrews, starting at um the verse that he highlighted to me was um seven through t -t 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 ten. And basically what God gave me to share was that, you know, when we all stand before God, nobody's going to have an excuse as to why they didn't believe in God, why their faith was shaky and maybe some things that he promised them. Um, because God's power is in this earth, you know, even for those that are atheists, you know, God's power is shown throughout this earth in the creation. So God just really wanted me to get up here and simply say that, you know, he's, you know, nobody will have um, an excuse for not believing in his power because his power is being poured out in this earth. And we're going to see even um, a greater um, outpouring of his His power in the days and months to come. And in His in the Bible, it lets us know that in the last days that God was going to be, he was going to pour out his spirit um, on his sons and daughters. And honestly, you know, I'm, I'm just a messenger. You know, God has, I even think about, you know, where God has brought me from and understanding his word so that's you know he uses people as an as an example to show his power you know it's not about those that he sends those that he sends to encourage to pray to um speak a word to share a word it's, it's not about those people it's about god using those people to show his power so nobody will be able to see say when they stand before god like oh god i did not believe in your power because you know we're not going to be able to say that because God has sent people to um, demonstrate his power. God is, you know, healing people. Um, he's just doing so many miraculous things, so many things that we, we just can't, we cannot point it to anybody else. You know, God uses people um, to lay hands on people. But, you know, we have to know that that's coming from God. It's God's power. It's all about him. It's not about me. The words that God gives me to say, the songs, the little ideas that y'all see um, me do, you know, God just will like, you know, I could be, you know, just reading or sitting down and God will just give me an idea. And it's, and I know it's not my idea because I, I just be like, God, like, you're so good. You know, like, where did that come from? But like I said, it's not about me. But God's power is being shown. And sometimes people, they wait for some like big, you know, uh, I don't know, Apollo appearance type thing, but God is, you know, God's power is in, you know, subtle things. His power is in things that, you know, um, the Bible says that God chooses the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. So, um, you know, we have to see God's power, you know, and if you just look outside, you can just see his power because when God spoke light, it happened. 
You know, God just had to speak the thing and the world came to existence. So we see his power every day, but you choose whether or not you want to believe in his power. So I just want to encourage you all to believe in God's power. And again, tonight's um, the word that God gave me to share came out of Hebrews chapter three. You can read the entire chapter, but what he highlighted to me was seven through um, 11. And then later on in this chapter, it talks about the, the children of Israel and the children of Israel. They um, they did a lot of murmuring. And the thing about it is. Even some of us, and I've been there too, we see God's power in a situation. He'll bring us out of a situation, and then we'll face something else, and then it's like we forget what God did for us. But we have to remember who God is no matter what we're facing. You know, the children of Israel, they some of them started complaining, and they never got to some. They, they stayed um, in that wilderness for 40 years, and some of them never entered the promised land because of their unbelief, and their unbelief caused them to turn to sin. And if you have any unbelief in your heart, you know, trust me, you know, it's, it's a battle. You know, that's something that tries to attack me, and I'm just praying, like, you know, I plead the blood of Jesus, like, Lord, you know, if there's any unbelief in me, heal it, God. I don't want that because I don't want anything to stop me. I don't want myself to stop me from the things that you've promised me. So we have to definitely believe God and take him at his word. And like I was saying about the children of Israel, they, they were murmuring. And a lot of them, because of their unbelief, they ended up turning to sin. They ended up leaving God and turning to um, idols. And that's the thing about it. A lot of people, when they stand before some, and it's sad to say, but the Bible lets us know that everybody's not going to make it in. And, um... That's why this is just so important to me. I'm not going to get emotional. <laughs> this is, you know, just doing what God tells me to do is so important to me because I want everybody to go to heaven. And, you know, I'm striving to get there myself um, with the grace of God, you know, daily. And I just want everybody to hear what God is saying um, throughout the world, throughout people that he's sending to spread his word. And um, we just have to believe God and not be like... Um, the children of Israel, because, you know, they are an, ex some, they are an example of um, unbelief. Like I said, they turned to sin. And when we stand before God, we won't, if we have sin in us, we won't be able to say, God, I turned to a life of sin because I didn't believe in you, because God did not see your power. We can't. So I love you all. I pray you have a blessed day. And if you have any prayer requests, please feel free to let me know. I love you. And I'll be back tomorrow, Lord willing, with the word. So love y'all. Have a blessed night.